Welcome back to BLCVikings.com. Welcome back to another edition of the Bethany Sports Beat. I'm Don Westfall, Director of Athletics here at Bethany Lutheran College. And for this installment, we're going to be talking about men's outdoor track and field. And we're going to be bringing in one of the bigger point getters for the team this uh, year. We're going to be talking to Luke Hahn, a junior from South Dakota by way of Great Plains Lutheran High School. Junior year, is it hard to believe that it's already gone this fast and you're already nearing the end of the junior year here? Yes, it has gone very quickly. Um, started off freshman year with indoor, first time ever doing indoor track and just kind of gone on from there. Every season goes by really quick. For you, what's the biggest difference between competing on the indoor level and then when things move outside? Um, one of the biggest factors I would say is Honestly, there's just some more teams, in my opinion, that are out there. And then there's also a lot more events. And um, it's a little bit of a different mindset you have to take as well. With the indoor uh, season, you have a short 200-meter track. But with the outdoor, you have the big 400-meter track. It kind of plays mind games with you a little bit, too. Okay. And I know for the Vikings this year, you've been doing some work at the 100-meter, 200-meter, also throwing the javelin. Yep. And then you're also in on the 4x400-meter team. Yep. All the other guys on that 4x400 team, they run the 400, yet you don't. How did they coerce you into doing the, the, one of the legs for that? Um, I'm one of the athletes that are able to do it as well as I do have the leg strength, but I'm in so many other events that I kind of have to pick and choose what I'm in at each meet. Um, this weekend, I'll actually be running the Open 4 and the 4x4, four four, so I'll be getting those in. But um, I've always been willing since uh, my freshman year here, since we started the program to run the 400, and I've always kind of been um, one of the people that are just in it. All right. And part of that, the fact that you're kind of willing to help out the team in some regard, would that also lead into your experience with the javelin? I, I, I don't know, in high school, if you threw the javelin a lot, or no. if that's something <laughs> you got involved with here at Bethany, how did that all transpire? I had never even thought of throwing until I got here. Uh, and then when we realized we had no one to throw, so I volunteered to throw. So that was uh, kind of a very new experience. But javelin is honestly now my favorite event here. Um, it's just a great opportunity. I really love throwing it. <laughs> all right. Uh, what, 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 I mean, what particularly about you as far as the improvement that you've seen in the javelin, what have the coaches been working with you a lot on in that regard? Uh, Brian works with me a lot personally, um, whether it be all, with the entire team and um, we, uh, him working with all of us or um, just even some one-on-one -on -one time like I'll be getting this afternoon with him on the javelin. And then also I think what really helps is that he's taught me so much that when he's busy I have to coach javelin and that helps me learn it alongside. Okay. So. Well, this team right now, kind of in the midway point of the outdoor season, but it's been one of those programs here over the three years, kind of seeing some steady improvement. What in your mind right now, given this year's team and, and, and some of the athletes out there, what are some of the strengths of this year's team? Strengths of this year's team is definitely um, teamwork. Um, we're really starting to come together as a team. In the indoor season, we really started to see it near the end of the season uh, come conference. Um, before that, everyone was there, everyone was cheering, but at conference you could really see that everyone was there all the time for everyone. They were cheering when uh, they weren't in events, they were even um, pushing each other in, um, while they were running. Uh, you could hear them whispering with each other while they're running. Um, so that's one of the biggest things I've seen as an improvement this year. All right. As we mentioned, just about halfway through the outdoor season. So we're getting near the end, which yes. brings us obviously then to the UMAC Championships. You guys right now certainly have been one of those teams with the improvement that we've seen over the past couple of years. Maybe not necessarily fighting or competing for that, that first place spot overall, but nonetheless, the team results, you've seen some steady improvement there. I know you guys, as far as how the team gets together with the coaching staff, what have you guys talked about as far as goals? What are the aspirations for leading into that conference meet? Well, in indoor, we were supposed to get third, like solid third. We were behind 50, 60 points where third was what we were supposed to get. We did get third, but only uh, by 14 points behind second place. So we really uh, showed up and really did our stuff. And in outdoor, we are uh, hopefully um, going to get second. We're placed at third currently, but again, with about that uh, same uh, margin there. But we have, uh, we're in better shape now because in the outdoor season, and we're hoping to claim second for the men. And for you personally, final question, but just I don't know if you've at this point already established which events you're going to be competing in, but what do you hope to gain uh, individually in some of the events that you participate in at the, the conference meet? Uh, my goals are to place in the javelin. Um, I'm assuming I will be in the Open 200. My goal is to place in that as well. Uh, I'll be in the 4x1 and most likely the 4x4. 
Um, so that's four events, and then I might have a fifth one tossed in there depending on where I'm ranked at conference. That makes so, for a busy weekend. Yes, very. Very good. Well, so, we'll, make, we'll make sure to keep track of your results as well as the rest of the team. Again, conference meet coming up in Morris the first weekend of May, but a couple more meets in front of that to get the Vikings ready for their outdoor championship meet. Again, Luke Kahn, I'm Don Westfall. We thank you for watching this installment of the Bethany Sports Beat.